Hey everybody, I'm Accidental Grenade, and welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth Challenge Runs. What do we have on our challenge run docket today? It is slow roll. Slow roll. Take it easy. Alright, so... Oh my goodness, look at that. Glorious tear. Um, so... We've got Polyphemus, Piercing Shots, My Reflection, and just ridiculously large tears. There must be some other effect that does this, I guess, but let's just go in the curse room right away. This is going to be a fun one, um, and probably an easy one, just based on the fact that I'm doing probably, I would guess, an absurd amount of damage just to begin this run here. There's a room, uh, you rarely find these rooms, and I actually was going to comment on this at one point. Um, I will use a bomb here to halfway unlock this room and get this tinted rock. Um, these rooms that... Ooh, wow. Damage we have, and we just got small rock. Nice. Now our tears are red, do a little bit more damage. Um, I find the double key rooms quite a bit, but rarely the double bomb rooms. So that's a nice little kind of change of pace there. Uh, picking up some consumables. I'd love to get another bomb to be able to unlock that room, actually, now that we've already, you know, kind of... We have the sunk cost of putting in uh, one bomb already. It feels like we might as well, right? Oh. Um, I did pick up a bomb. How did I not see that? I picked up a bomb. Um, or maybe I had it from the beginning. I wasn't paying attention, so let's just move along. Let's open it up, see what we find, see what there is to see. Inside we've got... Oh, okay, so... I can sleep in the bed to get up to full health, but normally there's a room under here, so I actually need yet another bomb, if I could come across one, to um, fully unlock what I would like to unlock in there. So let's see if we can... Oh man, the piercing shots, my reflection on a room like this, music to my little ears. And you can kind of actually plan for the, the reflection, the curve, which is nice. Um, bomb? Ah, key instead. Um, well, we probably won't get a bomb then, because we just have our boss left. I will go fight the boss first. I don't think I'm gonna take the time to shoot all that poop. Let's face it, we're in a good position here to begin with. I don't need to be crossing all my T's and dotting my I's necessarily on this run, I don't think. Let's just get a move on. Um, slow roll seems like one of these challenges that's just kind of casual, uh, easy going. I don't think we're going to have any problem unless I uh, really just kind of mess up as we go along here with the dodges or what have you. Are you a wizard? I mean, is this even really going to matter? Not really, I don't think. Let's just fight with it. Make it happen. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we can hit enemies not even trying to with uh, this kind of item combination, I think. It's just hard to predict where my tier's gonna go. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh, it came out the other way that time. So close. There we go. Um, I have three hearts. I will go in here. Black hearts. Fair enough. And four keys, no bombs. We can't see our health, so we want to keep in mind that we do have uh, two red hearts and two black hearts right now. Two and a half red hearts and one and a half black hearts. We did use, I don't know, somewhere in there. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> we got plenty of health. Um, that's all I'm really concerned about. There's a tinted rock. Wow, that was a quick floor, wasn't it? Here we go. Monstro is already very nearly dead. Oh, I wanted to hit him twice there. Couldn't make it happen. Magic Mush. Wow, game being very kind. No reason to stay on that floor without any bombs. Not enough money to investigate the shop. Uh, we'll go in here again, because once again, why not? Red Chest has a couple of spider bros. Come with me, if you want to live. Mm, may unlock that chest, but I'll see if there's a better place to use the bomb, possibly. Uh, although we already did get the small rock, so maybe a regular chest could be better for us than a uh, 
a tinted rock at this point. I don't know. I don't think we'll really end up needing the health, to be honest. Actually, with uh, my reflection craziness we've got going on, I wouldn't mind picking up a range up, which is sounds weird even coming out of my mouth. I normally don't give a crap about my range for the most part, unless it's really short. Like penises. Um. Oh. Yep. Alright, and a penny we can't access. Well, we'll investigate what else this floor has to, to offer toward us. Just to feel like we've done what we're supposed to do. But yeah, I mean, this challenge uh, falls firmly, I think, in the category of uh, let's do this for fun. Like, there's no way uh, anyone, I think, should have too much of a problem finishing this. This would be a challenge I would definitely recommend to someone who, like, wasn't too familiar with Isaac or if you just wanted to kind of get the hang of things. It'd be fun to play around with, right? Because you just start so ridiculously strong that you can kind of enjoy yourself not feel any pressure a couple of bombs is a nice pickup so I will go back up this way oh oh playing chicken shouldn't have done that should not have done that oh uh, this could be really goofy <laughs> yeah I like it <laughs> um could have like a secret room up here maybe so we'll check Indeed. Lucky me. Got our, our bomb back and a, a penny out of that. Some more money and keys that we'll never make use of on this challenge, but fun to have, I guess, nonetheless. In the trap room, we find that chest, which doesn't interest me very much either. I like the wiggle that my tears are now sporting. It's fun. And... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I did go through all the health protecting my red heart, so it's kind of foolhardy to explore the rest of the floor because I could take red heart damage and ruin my chance to deal with the devil. But, and I did, in fact. Uh, but we don't need one. I don't need to deal with the devil. I can, I, I'm pretty confident, and this could come back to bite me if I get some kind of horrible room or something that just is terrible, but pretty confident I could easily beat mom uh, with the setup we have right now, no problem. Mm. There we go. Oh, come on. I gotta shoot you three times? Are you kidding me? There's a soul heart. HP up. And... Yeah, down to the next floor. Five cents. I could go look at the shop, but... Why? Can't be... Can't be bothered. It's, uh... Like asking... You know, asking Bill Gates to pick up a quarter. He's like, dude, you think I need a quarter? Come on! It's ridiculous. Can't be arsed, as the as the Scots would say. Come on. Oh my gosh. Like this. Like I'm I, I barely have the patience season to shoot this poop, which even gave me like the right amount of money to get to the shop. Nice. Alright, three out of four. And the remaining nub is killed. Oh, Blackheart's a nice pull out of that, actually. Unexpected. Thank you, Cuba Meat. I think it uh, blocked a shot there. Broken Remote could end up being interesting, but uh, I think the run's almost going to be too short to make that really worthwhile. Uh, and we would need a spacebar item um, that we can use instantly to really get the full kind of comedic and entertainment value out of it. Which I don't have yet. Or probably won't get at all. I got a couple floors left. And uh, the only resource we have to get space items is like arcades, sh shops, uh, etc. Mm -mm -mm. Probably won't play the Blood Bank. Again, just seems like a waste of time for the most part. Uh, unnecessary kind of venture. That is not really going to benefit us too much. Playing card could be cool though. Two of clubs is not really so cool. Just use it right away. I was hoping for a joker card really. To get to a devil or angel room. And be able to get something that would make us even more absurdly powerful. Mm -hmm. Couple of like uh, sloth creeper. Oh, what is this? Hookworm. I like that more. I like that a lot. 
and it turns around and wheels back to us. Yeah, I like that. It's even better. Look at how weird it is. <laughs> oh. It's so jerky and spastic. I love it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, strategically, this is probably a really bad choice, but uh, I think entertainment-wise, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Jesus Juice is a good pickup. More damage. And, yeah, I mean, I'll take the ability to fly. And our spear... Our spear... Uh, our spears. I was thinking Spirit of the Night and Tears at the same time. Our tears will now be spectral. Uh, which means I won't have to bother shooting around rocks and things, and I like that. This is, like, definitely, uh, shaping up to be a lazy man's run, which is a lot of fun. That tear, like, made it the whole way around the screen to kill another enemy. I love it. Alright. Use the pill. Why not? Pick the health back up. What else we got? Health down. Alright, game... Trying to screw me, actually, which is kind of fun. At least keep it a little, maybe, give it a little bit of pressure, make it entertaining. We can actually have, like, two of these on the screen at the same time. They last long enough, which is fun as well. <laughs> Envy, I'm sorry. You never stood a chance, bro. That was so fast. That was definitely a very satisfying Envy fight. Because Envy is one of those bosses that you can face on the first floor when you have, like, no damage. And... The Envy fight can take like a solid minute or minute and a half, which is a lot of time in Isaac. Uh, you know, I'd be remiss not to at least blow up a few of these skulls with the amount of bombs I have. And I guess got another card to double my bombs, so we're still coming out with a bomb profit with blowing up every skull in here. Let's go in the curse room. Mm, I mean, it's a payoff. We got a half soul heart out of that. Some bombs. And, I mean, this is a, you know, the challenge is was never in question. I'm just trying to see if I can find anything else uh, ridiculous to pick up along the way for the most part at this point. Mm, a penny is not exactly ridiculous, game. That was your cue, and you blew it. Um, sure. Like, a black market would be fun. If you just uncovered a black market, that'd be cool. I'm not going to blow up every rock in order to try to do so, but when there's rocks near skulls, it could happen. Like here, or like here. Um, hello? You didn't die there? Excuse me? Thank you? Mm hmm. Oh, man. I wish I could have gotten the purse earlier and had both worms, because I would like to see if they actually interact with each other. I will pick it up. It's a little too late, though. I don't know if you can have two worm trinkets, but that would be pretty funny if both effects um, had an effect, as it were. It's the poorest phrasing I've done in quite some time. If both uh, trinkets had an effect on your tears, that would be fun to watch, I think. Uh, let's put a bomb down here. Mm -mm -mm. It would be fun to see uh, with this starting run. This would be one of those runs where you could uh, just basically see how fast you could finish the game as well. It'd be a nice kind of like uh, speed run competition. They have like the there's a racing league, the Binding of Isaac Racing League. At least there was for Vanilla. I think they're probably going to start it up for um, this version as well. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do this. Um, and it would be cool if they did something like that, like everyone has to start on this challenge instead of just starting like a regular vanilla run. I think that would be kind of neat. Alright, that was dumb. Dodging in front of the gate is never a good idea, but should be able to handle this. There we go. Oh, nope, excuse me. I spoke too soon. And you're dead. And that's an evil up range and shot speed. Yeah! Down to the next floor. And... I'm hanging on to the health down pill and not dropping it. Mostly because I don't 
feel like dropping it, but also because if you get down to one red heart, if, for instance, something happened and we traded away our, one of our red hearts or something like that, um, a health down pill turns into a health up pill. So if you did not know that, it's a good uh, kind of factoid to keep in your back pocket uh, when you are in a precarious health situation. Not that we necessarily are. Tears up is nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's might as well just buy the soul heart. We're just looking for the boss room to finish off this challenge at this point. Goat head is kind of silly when you're on your last floor for a challenge. And money and keys don't matter. Must be heading in the right direction, I think, because it's such a long path. <laughs> like spastic back and forth tears are just delightful. Let's do it. Let's keep these tears on the screen as much as possible here. And... Really trying to get them to reflect multiple times through the body parts, but not having too much success with that. But that's it. I mean, we could go, like, in there and do boss rush, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm just doing the challenge, knocking it out. Easiest challenge yet. Wow, that was only, uh, according to my recording here, around 16 and a half minutes. But that's going to do it for this run. If you like the video, please leave a like or a comment. If you want to see more videos when they come out, please subscribe. I'm Accidental Grenade. Thank you so much for watching.